going to dig some deep jumpy signals. I have one right here. Just came out of the hole on that left scoop. So it was hitting. There were some numbers in the uh, 80s, but I kept jumping around, so couldn't really tell what it was. Could have been a piece of trash, but uh, dig it because you never know what it is. Here's a closer look at it. is our best to you in 1957. So, pretty cool. Let's dig another deep one. Another penny dime signal. Well, it wasn't very deep. About five inches. But, uh, yeah. 1901 Indian head. Pretty cool. Yeah. Clean up the back later. I've never dug any silver coins down here. 52, 53, that's usually a nickel. So I dig them. There it is, nickel. When it's ringing 53, it usually, it's usually always a nickel. It's pretty cool. Alright, got another deep signal here. Really jumpy numbers. It's probably a piece of trash. 53, 82. Alright, I'm gonna dig it. Religious pendant. That was a good hmm. nine inches down. Pretty, pretty big piece. I mean. Pretty good though. Nine inches down. Another deep signal. Jumpy numbers, 53, 80s. 
Alright, let's dig it. Normally dig smaller plugs, but all the small ones have been dying because of all the heat and dry weather. So, dig some bigger plugs and they live longer. Oh yeah, I got a coin. That is one deep nickel. Oh, it looks toasted. It's pretty corroded. Oh, the buffalo nickel. Yes. Wow, it's my third buffalo nickel I've ever found. Sweet. It's pretty toasted, but uh, no date. Pretty worn out. Can't really make out much on the back. Well, you can kind of see the buffalo. You can definitely see the uh, the Indian head on there. Cool, my third one. I got measurements on my shovel. Oh yeah. 10 inches, no problem. I mean, it was awful numbers. Normally, you know, you wouldn't dig this, but I'm digging these awful numbers right now, and, you know, some of them are ending up being cool stuff. So, you uh, know, you go back to an area you think you've hunted out, I mean, dig up all the, the crappy numbers, you know. There was one or two times that it showed up as a 53 that's normally what nickels come up as but the strange thing was it was going into the 80s a couple times too so I mean these numbers really mean nothing on the VDI just dig it that's awesome alright 52, 53 I think we got another nickel
nickel. I like that. There's another deep signal. Probably around eight inches. I've completely hunted this little spot out with my other two metal detectives. And uh, yeah, there's still a lot of stuff deep in the ground that they just couldn't get. That's no fun. Digging soda caps down. Man, that's like... Yeah. That is exactly one foot. One foot soda caps. <laughs> yeah. Well, here are all my finds. Nothing too spectacular. Here's all my trash. It's not too bad for digging iffy signals. Pretty cool uh, Heinz Company token. My third Buffalo Nickel, that's pretty cool. 1901 Indian Head. I think that's a 1941 Wheat Penny. Religious Pendant. I don't know what this is. Might be an earring or something, I don't know. Uh, Two quarters, two nickels, three dimes, and five, six, seven pennies. So not too bad, but it shows you that those iffy signals, you know, this, this stuff down there, you know, you know not something you want to do everywhere because just some places are way too trashy. But uh, AT Pro is a pretty deep machine for the price.